everybody. Hi. Um, it means genuinely means a lot to us that we've been asked to come out here and do this today. Um, as you may be aware, our world champion is Travis Banks, who is of course from New Zealand. He's been wrestling in the United Kingdom now for a few years. We're super proud of him in the United Kingdom and we know that he's also super proud of being from New Zealand and it means a lot to him to be defending the championship here. Also, we've heard lots of really good things about Kane Khan and we're super excited about seeing him competing for our world title. So, um, we're going to throw to a little video in a minute, but before I do that, I want to make sure you guys can make a load of noise because we've travelled halfway across the world to be here and we're super excited. So, are you ready for your main event, my friends? Good noise. Please pay attention to your video screens. My goal when I first got here to the UK was just to make a name for myself and possibly make some money and like just make this a career. Everything that's happened has been like nothing that I would have expected. Going on to win the Progress World title, that was when I, when I felt like I really made it. I have been away for two and a half years now and to come back as the Progress World Champion is probably a dream come true and I don't think I could have done it anywhere else but in SBW. At Battle Lines Kane Khan, it will be you versus the returning Kiwi buzzsaw, Travis Banks. <laughs> I don't know if it's a dream come true or a nightmare when I first heard about it because uh, he's, he's one of the reasons why a lot of us started this in New Zealand. He's one of the guys that we're walking down the same path. If I was in his position, it would be the biggest opportunity of my life. All the hours I've put in that ring breaking my body, it means it's, it's actually for something. You could say it means the world to me. But I'm not in that position, I'm in this position. And the way I see it is, it's probably going to be a death sentence for him. Pretty intense. I hit really hard. And I like to hurt a lot of people. I'm not staying down. This is my opportunity to show what Kan Khan's all about. This isn't going to be easy pickings. I'm not the underdog in this. He's stepping into my home ground. He's stepping into SBW. This isn't progress. This is my yard. I feel sorry for Kane. But uh it is what it is, it's business at the end of the day, and I am the Progress World Champion for a reason. Yeah, it's for that Progress Championship. Travis, I'm ready. I'm taking it. My friends, our world title has been defended in the United States, obviously in the United Kingdom. It's been defended all over the world, and we are super excited to have it being defended here in New Zealand. Are you ready for your main events? You can do better than that. Are you ready for your main events? Then let's do this. I'm a bigger problem when I click with Skrillex. Murder on my mind, it's time to pray to God. My revolver's not religious, the revolution's born. You wanna know my name, I'm going down the side. You wanna know my game, suicide score. Pistol on my face, I make a mistake. Headshot, headshot, oh my God, am I crazy? Drugs every corner, this is not the city. Kill the pop, can't get happy.
My friends, the following contest is your main event and it's for the Progress Wrestling World Championship! <laughs> Introducing first the challenger in the corner to my right, weighing in at 205 pounds and hailing from Sin City Glengarry, this is Kane Khan! <laughs> and his opponent in the corner to my left. Weighing at 192 pounds and hailing from Auckland in New Zealand. He is the reigning and defending Progress Wrestling World Champion, the Kiwi Bossor, Travis Banks! Ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time here at Battle Lines 2018 at Invercargill for SPW. My name is Glenn Joseph taking over the commentary tonight. And uh, of course, I am with my broadcast colleague Ray Scott. And we are, well, it's safe to say we're uh, in a very exciting position. And for those who don't know, of course, Travis Banks, the Progress Wrestling World Champion, returning here to New Zealand to defend his championship. But a lot of the people who maybe are Progress fans who don't know about Kane Khan, Ray, tell us about how Kane Khan got to this situation. Well, it all started actually at the first SBW show that Travis Banks was, was on. Uh, Kane was sitting in the crowd that night, got some inspiration, decided he wanted to give wrestling a go, and now he's here facing his hero. It's quite a situation to have gone from, oh, pin attempt by Banks. Only one before Khan kicks out. Quite a situation between having sat in the crowd for Travis Banks' debut match here at SBW to now be wrestling for the Progress Wrestling World Championship, arguably one of the most, well, one of the most prestigious wrestling championships in all of independent wrestling today. And Kane Khan is, let's never say he's gone through the ringer recently. We saw in the semi-main event, JK Moody defending his SPW Heavyweight Championship. These two have got a lot of history as well, Ray. So for people who don't know the history between Kane Khan and, and J.K. Moody, I think it's worth touching on at this point. Yes, absolutely. Kane Khan and J.K. Moody have been friends for a long, long time. They started wrestling together, and in fact, they formed the Deadly Sins tag team over here that absolutely tore up the New Zealand scene. Okay, Kane with a takeover. Cover attempt. Only a count of two before Travis Banks going for, well, lower ground in, the, in, in this instance. Now, there's an interesting story here because Kane Khan looked very nervous as, as he came into the ring, but his confidence is kind of is brimming with the support here of the SPW crowd. He said in the interviews before the match that this was his yard, and, and Travis Banks, who's, as he says, had a heavy week already, he's defended the, the hey, nice work, Progress Wrestling World Championship last night in a triple threat at MCW and was wrestling at EPW in Perth just a couple of days ago. It's been a tiring few days, and... And Travis Banks with a show of respect, and then a shot straight into the jaw of Kane Khan. And before we came out here, a, a kind of mixed reaction, Ray, I think, for Travis Banks' return to New Zealand. Some viewing it as so much not the hero's return of the or the prodigal son, if you like, but maybe a little bit of you sold out in moving away from the uh, the fair country of New Zealand. Well, not only are fans upset that he may have sold out, as they put it. Kane Khan has been wrestling in this building for the last two years. Travis Banks has not. This is Kane's backyard. SPW is his now. Well, SPW might be Kane Khan's, but tonight he's in there with the Progress Wrestling World Champion, and he's laying down a lot of experience to the QE Bussos. Kicks into the back, and then a straight shot into the jaw of Khan, and now Khan rolling to the, the side of the ring. Travis Banks up and over. Oh, it takes him with a big penalty kick into the chest of Khan. Almost sending Banks with the momentum over the top rope back into the ring. But yeah, a very a very strange reaction here to, to Travis Banks. Uh, I, I think that the fans have grown to love Kane Khan here in, in SPW. And that Banks, oh, with a big overhand chop into Khan in the front row. Yeah. 
Another chop into the chest there. Referee up to the five count, and we know that Travis Banks will. There he is, he's very adaptable, good at being used to his surroundings, not just the ring, but the surrounding area, and breaking the. Breaking the count, and. And they're being fairly stern, I think, with the SPW fans there. This isn't something that SPW has dealt with very often. Well, Travis so, Banks is, is going to be used. Oh, oh Kane oh. Connor is a lawn dart. Well, Travis Banks wasn't lying to the SPW fans here. Believe me, if, if the Kiwi Bustle gets in your face and tells you to move, it's probably discretion is the better part of valor. And some choice words from the Kiwi Bustle to some of the fans here. At the McCargill Working Men's Club and oh, oh. Thudding shots into the chest and the jaw of Khan on the outside and the referee. Oh no. Banks telling the fans to move again! Oh. Oh, Khan sent into the chairs here. Well, this is, of course, for the Progress Wrestling World Championship. The referee showing a a fair amount of well, how do I say this lax at this point to let this match continue doesn't want this to end in a disqualification or a counter and he's letting these two men fight it out and Kane Khan is giving as good as he can get at this point outside now we've seen Travis Banks in progress in a number of of brawls and, and battle around Ray you'll be able to tell me better than I can tell anybody else as Kane can't ever be in this position where he's been fighting on the, the outside of the ring this is almost like a, a barroom brawl at this point in fact just a month ago when he was fighting his former tag team partner JK Moody they spent a bit of time on the outside but it was nothing like this it was not getting thrown Ooh. across chairs and those chops are basically just strikes at this point oh, you can hear the thud coming off his hand thanks now one more huh Winding up with those big chops into the chest of Kane Khan and oh, Banks misses and chops the ring post. Khan needs to take advantage of this now. Here he comes, throwing some chops of his own. Looks like he's going to take advantage of that. Oh, return serve, setting Travis down in the front row and chopping him. Oh, Khan now wearing out Banks. In the front row, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, and Khan is getting fired up here in the main event of Battle Lines for the Progress Wrestling World Championship. Khan knows this is a hell of an opportunity. Oh, and now Banks is firing back with shots of his own. From our vantage point here, we can only hear the impact of those chops as. Travis Banks is laying them into the challenger. And now from the entranceway onto Khan on the outside. Well, Travis Banks, during his numerous title defenses in progress, he's often fought from underneath, but tonight he is stalking the challenger. Oh, another big shot from the champion. And telling the crowd again, a parting of the, the waves, if you like. Oh, and Khan reverses it! Travis Banks sent into the crowd! Well, it truly has broken down here in the main event of SPW Battle Lines. We saw earlier on J.K. Moody defend his SPW Heavyweight Championship. And Kane Khan right now is looking every part a champion himself. And what an incredible opportunity. What a coup. What an upset it would be for the, the young Kiwi to, to defeat Travis Banks, who is just... Pouring shots into at this point. Kane Khan was to become the Progress Wrestling World Champion. Oh, 
Well, Travis Banks calling for the referees on Dream Street at this point. Well, Travis, Travis Banks, mother and father who were, were with him at Alexandra Palace when he won the Progress Wrestling World Championship. Travis has got himself a shield. Well, uh, speaking of the shield, it seems a Superman punches. He's getting, oh, and Travis Banks takes the opportunity using that young gentleman there. Oh my goodness, those overhand palm strikes into the chest of Khan. Well, Travis Banks, we know he'll He'll do anything to defend that Progress Wrestling World Championship, including using a child as a shield. I was having met Travis Banks' father before, it's not a man I would choose to mess with. You breed them tough here in New Zealand. It's the father you're worried about? I'm more worried about his mother. <laughs> oh, right now, all Ken Khan needs to be worried about is Travis Banks as he Nails another. Those chops have just been laid up. Super touch! Ah! K Gun! And a spear! A huge leaping kick by Khan! The champion's in trouble! Here comes Khan! Huge boot sends Banks to the outside! Khan on the apron! Oh! Rolling cannonball! I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. Travis Banks, who's been responsible for training so many of the, the young Kiwi wrestlers who've moved across to the UK. The, the likes of, of TK Cooper, Dahlia Black, who of course have wrestled here at SPW before. Dahlia Black, indeed, now my, my color commentator at, at Progress, used that that rolling cannonball almost in homage to a trainer and now Kane Khan said before this match that Travis Banks was one of his heroes Ray and oh could be that, that don't turn your back on Banks oh my god Banks absolutely wiping Kane out on the outside Kane Khan I think was unsighted and Banks Not again. another head of steam Not again. Oh, another low bait drives Kane Well, it seems at this point, Ray, that Travis Banks is taking King Khan very seriously. And he's pulling out all the stops so far in the main event. Thanks now. Khan is back in the ring, but he's on jelly legs. We finally got the action. Probably back in the ring and the champion. We know he's explosive. Spent a lot of time on his cardiovascular. Oh, and kicks out the leg of Khan who heads well, head first into that bottom turnbuckle. We could see it now, Ray. There's a rolling cannonball into the corner. Cover attempt by the champion. And a kick out at two by the challenger. That was some serious experience shown there by Banks. Coming in, looks like he was going to go for a third attempt at slamming into Khan. Could hear Khan following him. Quick turn and tripped him into the bottom turnbuckle. You don't see that every day. I think Khan was coming out to meet him to try and stop some of the onslaught. But again, that experience advantage, just like you said, Ray. Banks almost sent him coming. Could be going for that slice of heaven kick. Oh, misses it. Kane had it well scouted. Wheelbarrow by Banks. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, Wheelbarrow. German suplex into the top turnbuckle. Sets him up for the carnage. Nails him. Is this it? Could be an upset. New champion. Oh. And just in the nick of time, Banks kicks out before the count of three. You've got to think about the psychological effect now that's going to have on Kane Khan after hitting him with that carnage. It looks at this point like it's going to take more than that to defeat the defending progress wrestling world champion. He's brought this title back to New Zealand tonight at Battle Lines, defending it 
here against the contender Kane. Oh no, a shotgun drop kick catches. Can't come out the corner. Double stop into the back. Banks is starting to feel it now. It's a long haul flight from the UK all the way here to Invercargill. Could be going here, New Zealand! Nails it! Cover attempt! Oh, and Khan just kicks out before the count of three. Listen to this crowd trying to will Khan on. Applauding when he kicked out. Rowling barking at Khan, telling him to get up, get back into this one. Well, Ray, Khan has been in some, some difficult positions before against some very, some very talented wrestlers from across here in New Zealand. And it looks like the battles that he's had recently kind of hardened him now because he, he's really taken to the champion, turning around, could be going for a superplex off the top. But the, the abuse he's taken so far in the match, Ray has, has kind of stopped K Khan rather on, on, on capitalizing on this situation. He needs to be over, he needs to crawl, do everything he can. This is for the Progress World title. Get there, cover bangs, do anything you can. He's just so spent, he can't, he can barely move. Well, they battle all across the Working Men's Club here at Invercargill in the early stages of this match and it's taken the toll on both of the men but I think the Banks at this point with ever so slightly better conditioning again Banks is you know, at one point he was wrestling nine days out of ten in the UK it's a much different schedule but that was a huge forearm shot you could hear that echo from Khan Banks is rocked because he got another one in him it looks like he's got more than one firing off of those short forearms but Khan ducks a big one Banks ducks as well oh what a short clothesline oh, and one from Banks as well takes out the challenger what a spine buster again crawl Khan go do anything you can Kane Khan is so close needs to shoot Travis Banks over onto his back but at this point, the the thumb is the thumb is up. I guess for the for the crowd is has Khan got something big in store for Travis Banks? Oh, Khan signaling to the the turnbuckle, the thumb across the throat. Khan is feeling it now. The people stood on their chairs here at the in the Cargo Working Man's Club. Khan up to the top rope. This could be it. No one home for Khan. Banks. Slice of heaven straight into the face of Khan. Is this it? Is this it? Cover attempt. And oh. Khan manages to kick out of the slice of heaven. Oh, the lights nice clutch. Oh. This is how he defeated Pete Dunne back at... Alexandra Palace to win the Progress Wrestling World Championship. Yeah. Wrenching back that talk. Oh, he's got him. It's not just the, the pull on the shoulder and the neck, the small of the back when Banks reaches back, but Khan manages to push her up. He's got him, the Denny Sin. That cross face locked in. Banks is nowhere near the ropes. This crowd oh, wanting him to tap! Travis Banks so close to tapping! Oh, oh, Banks just makes the bottom rope! Khan releases the hold, but what a great transition from the challenger to move from the lion's clutch across to that, that cross face. Khan needs to take advantage of this now. He needs to stay on the champion, but at this point, both men have put each other through a huge amount of abuse in the main event here at Battle Lines. Progress. This is wrestling on the edge of the world. Well, Kane Khan signaling his intent here to the the SBW crowd. It is indeed wrestling on the edge of the world. They're wrestling on the edge of the ring at this point. 
Khan going up to meet Banks. Front face lock on the champion. Trying to feed off the energy of the crowd at this point. We're going up to... Oh. No. 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 Ah! Kiwi Crusher on the top rope. That's got to be it. Cover. And oh. oh my goodness. I've only seen one man ever kick out of that before. That, that man was Matt Riddle. That's good. It's gonna have a psychological effect on the champion. Goes up that slice of heaven again. Oh, catches! Can't flush! That's gonna be it! Legs hooked! And it was a. Oh my goodness! Kane Khan again! Come on. What a resilience from the young Kiwi! This Invercargill crowd, as well as myself, stunned into silence from that. How was Khan able to kick out of, of either one of those? Unbelievable. Travis looking to finish it off now. Second rope again. Again. Oh! Cut her out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Can't no, cut her. He's got him up. Go on, Khan. Ow. Oh, surely. New champion. Two. Oh my God. Banks incredibly kicking out! How are these two still going? Unbelievable. What an incredible Progress Wrestling World Championship match here at Inver Cargill. And Kane Khan, he's never gonna have a closer opportunity to be Progress Wrestling World Champion than right now. Go for it again! Ray, he's got it locked in! Banks in the middle of the ring! Crowd chanting to tap again. Travis Banks is so close to losing the Progress Wrestling World Championship. And Kane Khan is surely only seconds away. Oh, Rosenberg, come back, Rosenberg. Only two. Oh, a short kick by Banks. Kiwi Crusher. Again. Cover. Khan again kicking out, but Travis Banks very quickly transitions into the Lions Clutch. Oh, he's wrenching back on the neck of Khan. He's in, he's in, he's dead. Well, Khan has to submit. The winner of this match, and still Progress Wrestling World Champion, Travis Banks. Well, Travis Banks. Is the winner here in Invercargill defending his Progress Wrestling World Championship. But Ray, what an incredible showing by Kane Khan, proving that he really can hang with the best of them here. And not just at, at SPW, I think Kane Khan just proved that in the world of wrestling, he's going to make a big name for himself. Anyone watching this match, not from SPW, maybe from elsewhere in the world, have a look at the two men in the ring. One is currently one of the best wrestlers in the world, and the other just went toe to toe for over 20 minutes. Super impressive showing here by Khan. Banks, successful hometown match. It was pretty incredible that on his return here to SPW, that Travis Banks has had a hell of a schedule over the last few days, over the last few weeks from, from New Orleans. Defending the championship. Oh, and Banks now bringing Connor to his. Oh, Travis Banks offering the hand of respect to Kane Khan. Travis Banks will head on to the Super Strong Star 16 to defend that, that championship. Pending what happens at PWA in, in Sydney on Monday. But Kane Khan just proved that he was able to hang with the best of them. What a show. Oh, Ray, what? That's JK Moody. What the hell is he doing here? Always oh, got to ruin a good thing. Oh, Banks! Slice oh. a little bit into Moody! And the oh. Daily Sun is it going to make Moody tap again? Tap, 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 tap. 
Yes, he does. For the second time outside of a match, Kane Khan has made the SBW champion tap out. No more best ever, Moody. Hey. Well, Travis Banks will move on to Sydney on Monday, and then the Super Strong Style 16 for, for progress back in the UK. And the belt, the championship that Kane Khan is holding up right now is the SPW Heavyweight Championship. And surely there's big things ahead for Kane Khan and JK Moody. Biggest boss and I've been in trillis. I'm a bigger problem when I click with Sprouts. Murder on my mind, it's time to pray to God. My revolver's not religious, the revolution's born. Well, thank you so much to SPW for having myself, Jim Smallman, and the Progress Wrestling World Championship defended here at Battle Lines. Ray, I'm going to leave it with you to take us home. Thank you very much, Glenn. And I can say it has been an absolute pleasure having the three of you down here putting on one hell of a show. That main event was something else. And I, and I, and I just have to say, it's been an absolute pleasure to compensate beside one of my wrestling heroes and Glenn Joseph. So thank you very much. This has been an absolute show to remember. For David Dunn and Glenn Joseph, I have been Ray Scott. And we'll see you next time. Hang on a this, this, Travis Banks has hey. returned hey, ba hey, back, hey. back to the ring now with a, a microphone. Let's, let's see Kane. what the champion has to say. Kane. Hey, hey, over here, bro, in the ring. What's up, man? Can you please come back in here for a second? And before I get to you, I just want to say I've been gone for two and a half years. And when I left, the New Zealand wrestling scene was pretty, pretty poor state. With companies like SPW being around, I can see a bright future for wrestling in New Zealand. And with wrestlers like Kane Khan, I know it's in good hands. Please give it up for the future of New Zealand wrestling, Kane Khan. That man has been my hero ever since I started this. It doesn't matter how hard I work or how long it takes, I will meet you again, Travis Banks. It doesn't matter when.